It's been dubbed the revolutionary tractor on social media. Anti-government protesters plow through police barricades protecting the presidential offices. A bold statement after days of fruitless protests over the president's last-minute withdrawal of a key agreement with the European Union. The agreement would have opened borders to trade and set the stage for a move toward modernization and inclusion for the Eastern European country. But President Viktor Yanukovych backpedaled on the deal, thanks in part to Russia's opposition. Moscow threatened its neighbor with trade sanctions and steeper gas bills if it signed, and offered discounts on natural gas if Ukraine joined its Moscow-led customs union instead. I think we do not deserve to have such a president with such a government, so we need to replace the government and go to Europe. In fact, we are already a European country. We are already there. They have been waiting for us there. We just refuse to go ourselves. The president's refusal to meet the European Union's demand to free former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko from prison is also a sticking point. Tymoshenko, Yanukovych's rival, is serving a seven-year sentence for abuse of power in a case that's largely seen as political. More than 100,000 protesters took to the streets. An exchange of flares lit up a night marred by police beatings and violence on both sides. When I was watching the pictures of events, I was crying, even though I'm not a sentimental person. But my heart was breaking, and this is why I'm here today. It is not about the European Union or the customs agreement with Russia anymore. It is now about Ukraine fighting against the criminal authorities. Even though Kiev's police chief has resigned and the interior ministry issued an apology, the cause of the protests has yet to be addressed. Protesters managed to overthrow Yanukovych in 2004, and if they can, are poised to set revolution in motion once again. Jonathan Mann, CNN, Atlanta.